Hello everyone and welcome to Halberon again and it's a rainy march and I am planting yes as you can see I have bought the field you know I got almost all the money and then I realized I don't really use uh, my grain transportation device oh my, I can't speak today let's do it like this my trailer <laughs> I don't use my trailer. So I sold that for like 20k and then all of a sudden I had the money to buy this. So now we have another field. Yay! I'm so happy. Finally we can make some more money. I also saw a video. Farmer Klein, did, Klein if you haven't seen that one, did a really good video. So I, for those of you who watch me, I actually want to spread the word. So watch him, he's awesome. He and Pharmacop basically breaks down the game, what's best and what's not, and takes away the, the guessing game, if you want it. Unless you want that, then don't do it. Don't watch those two. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, apparently it's about a 35% loss if you sell directly from like this oil machinery here, or this oil factory. So, if you want to make more money, you should always go for selling it with pallets or whatever it is, which is I'm, what I'm doing right here. But once your production gets, how do you say it, it gets really, really good, and you basically automate a lot of it, I think it's going to be worth selling there. Because then you, I'm probably going to go here, do the fields, let it be, sow it, and just leave it be. And you don't have the transportation costs for it, right? Because... No, I'm in the wrong menu. Because uh, once you have a lot of mills and everything like that here, it's not going to be worth it running around and doing that, in my opinion, time-wise. Now, um, I like selling stuff in this game. I really do. I think it's fun. <laughs> I like seeing the numbers kick in and go like, Oh my god, I'm so rich. I can buy any tractor I want. <laughs> that that's like the the main thing for me in this game. It's it's the progression thing. Also, it's it's getting around to me trying to figure out the way to role play. I need to. I'm not sure what I want to do this on these maps. I might do it on Erlingrad and yeah, I might do something like that. Just because I am one eighth German. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that's the Swiss Alps or something, I don't know. But um, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna write a little bit of script for it and see what happens. And then we might do some role play. It's gonna be interesting. I mean, I have done role playing in like pen and paper role play where you actually do voices and stuff like that. So it's not like I'm new to it. I'm not very great at it in my opinion, but it, it's gonna be fun. Just gotta make up a story for it. Like, these two first Let's Plays are basically as I'm playing the game. The, the, this is where I'm talking and I have a time lapse for the other map, right? So, yeah. That's about it. Also, that field, I gotta show you that, came fully prepared. Number 40. When it comes to this. Look at that. I don't have to do anything the first harvest. Awesome. All I gotta do is spray after I plant it here. So I gotta rent the sprayer. Because that's, that's actually the last piece of equipment I need. So if it ever gets up, I haven't checked uh, that one. If it ever gets here, so I, I'm getting cheaper, I'm gonna get it directly. Otherwise I'm gonna concentrate on fields, I think. I'm gonna buy these three fields before I buy a sprayer. Unless it comes up there, so we'll see. And actually I'm gonna borrow money if it comes up there. If I if just bought a field or if I don't have the money. Because I think a sprayer is pretty important. Don't you? I also want the shed. Uh, but yeah, I think earning money is the number one thing. Because I don't... I can't cheat. I can't... Uh, I'm not saying... She it's not really cheating, okay? It's I can't play the game that way, maybe I should say. I can't get money in without doing it via game mechanics. Like, I have no problem actually doing a lot of greenhouses. But I don't think it's fun gameplay. I want to do this. Because I really like this. <laughs> but yeah. Just came home from work as usual. It's kind of fun. But this farm, I really 
think it's weird that you don't have to remove weeds before planting. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. I mean, since I'm doing this, I, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to planting, though. I'm not a farmer. So maybe I should look that up before making idiotic comics. <laughs> but I like it, though, you can do it like this. Something I see a lot of people doing animals, and I've seen how broken animals are. And that's a little bit bad. That you can't... Like, if you fill, like, pigs with, I don't know, wheat. Um... Uh, then you feel the throt, throts have, or the the bins in the pigsty has like a maximum amount of this is how much you can have, and it isn't based on maximum amount of wheat slash sunflower or whatever it is. It's maximum amount of everything, so you have to be careful when you fill it up so you can get 100% productivity, which I don't really like. <laughs> I hope they fix that. I hope it's an, a bug and not an intended feature. It's not like it's hard, it's just annoying. So yeah, I, I guess we can live with it, but yeah. I hope they fix it. Sunflower seed. Maybe I should do canola one harvest. Then I need to buy... But I'm, I'm gonna wait until I buy a new uh, harvester, I think, to do canola. Because right now I have this harvester and I have everything for... Oh, I missed a little bit there. Um, I have everything for it. But I want to do... Uh, like I said, I want to... Uh, let's see. That's retarded. I want to do a little I want to have different types of, like, this is going to be the, like the oil district, basically. I might do the oil district, <laughs> like that, and have, like, canola fields here, and have a grove down here, you know, stuff like that. And then I might do, like, the, you know, the, the cereal factory and stuff like that here. And then somewhere, like here or something, do a little bit of forestry, you know. Yeah, I have big plans for this map, guys. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a long series. That's what I'm sure. I'm not gonna like quit it, <laughs> do other stuff. But I hope new land, not new lands, uh, no man's land comes to FS22 because I really want to do a no man's land map. That's what I was hoping when I saw this map. I was like, oh my god, you can have all these fields out here and you can redo. No, you can't. That was such a bummer. That's my biggest disappointment in the entire game, that they didn't use everything out here. Until like here or something. Man, I would love that for every map. I would not be in here doing this. I would be out there chopping wood, baking my fields, just like farm sim guy on Bulls Gap and everyone else on No Man's Land and my own series on New Lands. I really like that. Building your own farm is basically what I always want to do. I mean, the farmers in the game are really good, and they are good to play on. There's nothing wrong with them at all. I just like doing it myself. It's more fun. And playing on hard modes was, was interesting. 54 missions, guys. Remember that? 54 freaking missions. Yeah, I like this planter. It's good. Maybe I should not be so far away, so you can hear the sounds. What do you guys think about the sounds in the game, though? I love the sounds in the game. Here we go. But yeah, I'm going to finish this field. Um, so I'll be right back. I'm going to pause the recordings. I don't really do time lapses in this series, unless you want time lapses here. And then you have to write me in the comments. And of course I'll do it, otherwise I'll see you in a little bit. And there we go, we are done. It's still raining, though. What's with the weather? Oh. Do you see lightning in this game? That would be cool. In my opinion, that would be awesome and really cool. Right? I think that would be really nice. 32. Oh my god. And my other one, I had a. Uh, just one new track to him. I had a playthrough, right? Spoilers if you're just watching from the thing in the beginning. But. And that tractor is so much better than this. These beginner tractors, I mean, this can pull basically anything, but it doesn't have a front hitch, so you can't really do pallets. So, yeah, I need a, I need a pallet fork. <laughs> but, um, uh, not pallet fork, a pallet truck, what I call it. It's called a forklift here. And, yeah, I think they're really bad, which is good. I really think it's good. Because the upgrades on tractors here 
feels more pronounced than it ever did in FS19, which is something I really, really like. Let's see. Let's rent one now. And I gotta make the math later if it's worth it just to keep it instead of using while we're doing. Let's see. Okay. We're gonna do the math now, right? Let's do it like this. Gonna, I'm, I'm gonna waste some money now. Let's lease it. 7.59. I'm, I'm just gonna notepad this. Notepad. 7.59. We can do some farmer cop slash farmer client stuff here now. 759 to rent this. Okay, that's fine. Um But yeah, now we're gonna do a day after this. We're just gonna skip one after I because I need to um spray before so we can get zero percent weed. I think I had some herbicide on, on site, so we're gonna drive back and do that. But um yeah, and I wanna see how much Cause it's, how many seasons do I need this for? Seasons, how many days do I need this for? Where is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we need 12, okay, I'm stupid. It's for 12, <laughs> of course it's 12 months in a year, come on. My god, sometimes I'm, I amaze myself with my stupidity, <laughs> to be honest, it's, it's amazing. But yeah, it's now rainy March, also the role playing series, I remember that now, we're gonna do like each month, I think. One day month, one uh, three day seasons, I think is perfect for me. Otherwise, it takes too long, and you want to have. Maybe I should do role playing series and do twenty eight days per season. I don't know. I'm gonna see how many videos they release as a farm tuber a month, and see if I can maybe do something like that. That would be cool, wouldn't it? I think that would be really cool. <coughs> Let's see how much I get. I don't think that's enough, but we'll start with that. But yeah, I mean, we're gonna make a little experiment here, but we, we wanna spray first. I like spraying. <laughs> I usually don't use solid fertilizer, um, or haven't in the past. However, have you guys seen this? 42 meters for this. And for this. I mean, I want this so badly. Can you do discs on that? I just wheel set up. Narrow. Trelleborg. Uh, yeah. I really want that, guys. I really do. I can't see the difference on this crop. That's the only thing that is bad. Because when I did uh, no-till, and I did, I could see the difference between my spraying and no spraying. So, this is, in my opinion, bad. I have reported this as a bug to Giants, and I hope it's a bug. Or maybe I forgot the feature. I don't know. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to spray. I'll be back in a little bit. So you can, you know, it doesn't... I'm going to do one more round so I can talk to you guys a little bit. But it's... I don't know. We see so many time lapses, And I do time lapses on my other series. And I don't know. Do you guys want to see me? Maybe it's... That's why it's... Maybe that's why it's good. To have time lapses inside the series. I mean, Dagrin does it perfectly. And so does, uh, you know, Oryxy and all the other farmer client and farm sim farm guy and all those, they do it as well. So maybe that's the norm now that you need to do it, but I don't know. But yeah, I'll be back in a little bit and uh, when this is done, and then we can talk some more. Be right back. There we go, spraying is done everywhere. So we are gonna... Oh, I have one liter. I'm not, I'm not gonna care about one liter. I'm not gonna have an extra one out there. But yeah, we're gonna do like this. And we are gonna, we're gonna go to sleep. Let's sleep in a cab, guys. Let's sleep in a cab. So we're gonna go to sleep. We're gonna see how much money we lose. And we're gonna times that by 12, because I don't have a clue. I haven't really checked this at all. And I don't think you don't lose money from doing this. I think you need to keep it. I think it's better. Unless you're gonna buy one. But we'll see. So, let's see. Uh, seed, no. But we need to do some math. We need to get the calculator out again, guys. My math is not that good. So, 7.59? What was it? I have to tab inside the game again, because I'm outside. 21.04? I don't think that's the correct one, right? 
That's 345. But uh, I don't think this uh, it's running cost as well. Uh, oh wait, 12 times, oh that's wrong. 12 times 345 is 4.1k. But that's with the running costs. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna sleep again. And we're gonna see if the daily keep up is worse. Cause I don't think that's the correct one. Cause this is with the running cost, right? So we'll see what it is. However, if it is 350, whatever it was, 55, 54, something, uh, it's not gonna be worth 345. So 345 times 12, is 4140 which means guys renting it for the use and then returning it is better than keeping it yeah I did not expect that at all actually that kind of sucks doesn't it we're gonna pull this where I might as well pull them over here because I'm not going to use this until harvest. But yeah, that's some worrisome, in my opinion, anyway. Let's see, is there a good... Uh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Is there a good... Uh, oh, we didn't check uh, here. Oh, that's a shit tractor. No, I don't need a stone picker. Okay. Is there a contract I can do? Because I want to earn some money. Uh, fertilization. Oh yeah, we have field 15. Nah, fuck that. We're not gonna do contracts. But yeah, like I said, uh, also something with planning. As you can see here is the livestock market. Uh, so uh, you can basically do livestock over here, like a farm. Uh, biogas plant, that would be nice too. They can do all that shit down there. Grape, so grapevines. This is the farmer's market, so you can basically do... Uh, I, I said trees here before, but I think it's better to just do... Uh, Biomass heating? Okay. Uh, what's it called? Uh, like greenhouses over here. Lime. Grain elevator. That's railroad silos. Carpentry. Sawmill. So yeah, basically I think here is going to be... The tree farm. Oh, that's that's a lot of money, but uh, something like that. And I will, I will, you know, I think I will do something like that. We'll see what kind of factories are there because I want to have all the factories. I haven't really checked that too much. Uh, production factories. So we have bakery, carpentry, dairy. Oh, there's a lot. Some of these, like you want to have bakery with. Between like grain mill and dairy, I think. Because, yeah, you need a lot of products in. That's going to be interesting. I can send it to certain things. Carpentry, I already have all there. Spinnery, I want this too. Yeah. I want, and I want, you know, I want this. <laughs> I have two bagels plants, I'm not going to do that here, I think, but uh, still, we're going to buy everything we can. We might as well do our own, if we want to, so. But yeah, I think we're going to do a short episode today, guys, with just some, you know, seeding and spraying and talking a little about our plans for the future and stuff like that. Oh, look at that, a doe. Hello, little one. How are you doing? Oh, that's awesome. I love it. I wish you could shoot them. <laughs> Go hunting trips. Please make a mod for hunting trip, guys. Come on. You can do it. But yeah, I think that's it for today. So, if you made this far, I'm really thankful, guys. And have a really good evening, day, night, or wherever you are. Bye.